Welcome back. Um, I can't even remember what episode we're on now because we're starting. We've had a week off doing stuff. So yeah, we're back on the car. All right, it's actually episode fourteen. I just checked, so uh, it's all good. I think that's episode fourteen. Yeah, yeah last one was thirteen. So, yeah, sorry for the. Uh, Delaying updates, but uh, I'll do a couple of videos. But as I said, if you haven't seen it already, please enter the giveaway. I'm giving some sound deadening, some ABS vouchers away, uh, and an angle grinder. So make sure you enter that. It's one of the other previous videos, not too far away, if not the previous one. <coughs> All right, so before I um, continue building my spit, um, ideally I need to remove some of this stuff around the bulkhead area to help. Um, make a bar that goes across to mount the spit on. Um, got a scaffold pole, so I think we've nearly got all the parts now. Um, but what I will do for now is, yeah, clear all this out. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. I haven't really looked at any of this area at the moment. <coughs> so, uh, got a spare wing, windscreen wiper wiper, that's good. Got the old style wiper motor, which is again another way well, you can tell it's a Mark 1 because they're square, from what I've been told. So yeah, we'll try and take all that off. <sighs> Wine room looks like it's been rewrapped at some point, but I don't know whether we'll keep that or not. We'll have to decide later on. Um, yeah, we'll take some of these heater hoses out of the way and everything, and then uh, we can go from there, see what else we can find. So yeah, bugger, the last major problem with master cylinders is getting to the um, split pin inside the bulkhead. Uh, we'll worry about it in a bit, so let's see if we can clear some stuff up. All these jobs go slower than you ever think. Some of these are rusted, some are twisting the pipes. Uh, also, when you want to do some of these other ones, you start bending the bracket if you're not careful. So <coughs> Sometimes it's a compromise. Um, so what we'll do is we'll try and get a clamp on that a little bit, some mold grips or something to try and stop it. Pretty twisting. Oh, as always, very long. So those pipes are off. I'm going to have to try and get the uh, four uh, bolts, uh, four nuts off that hold the uh, master and master cylinders down. One thing at a time. <laughs>
just pausing for a minute, as always. Um, just trying to get the wiper motor off, the nut was spinning on, was spinning, the nut was turning, and also the housing for this sort of like the little gear bit on the back. Um, so I don't know if I can grip onto it. If not, what I'm going to do is just gently get an angle grinder and cut the side of the nut off. Hopefully not damaging the threads too much, and then that, I can always replace the nuts easy enough. <laughs> you can replace your nuts. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. What I'm thinking about actually is making this bar that I'm going to use for the uh, rollover. Make it so it can fit with the master cylinders in place. Now I've even done all the bolts. Um, because, yeah, in case I ever need to sort of, you know, mount the car on a spit again, but... You know, you don't want to remove all the master cylinders and links. So if I can get it to fit, maybe. I suppose in reality you wouldn't anyway, would you? You're an idiot. You know, you still have a bloody engine in place or anything like that. So, anyway. Yeah, crack on. Alright, as always, that took a bit of time. As you can see, I don't know. You can see where I've just ground the nut. And I just try, you try not to, but you try and just skim the threads. So if you have ever a nut like that, you just skim the threads a little bit. And that sort of releases the tension on the nut. And it allows you to sort of uh, normally tap it around or even just undo it. So another way of getting a nut off. You sacrifice a nut, but hopefully save the other bit. So uh, yeah, as soon as the threads are on there, they're all, they're all good. Let's see if we can get the wiper motor out now. Oh. Apart from an absolutely huge spider behind the dashboard, um, that went all right. Busted bolts and stuff, but they all came undone eventually. So yeah, this is mounted through the bulkhead. You can see it there. Four little, three little rubber mounts, and I think there's some studs that actually go on the back of the wiper motor. Um, but because the nuts were quite seized, it basically undid the studs, formed the back of the wiper motor. I'm sure they go in there, but maybe they don't, but I think they would do, and then you'd poke the studs through and then do the nuts up. But that's all right, take this off. So I'll wipe them over, a little bit rusty, the arms and stuff. Um, we'll just have to uh, give it a grease up and give it a clean and see if it actually works at some point, but that could be filed away in the parts store uh, for the moment. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Just glad to be back. I really do need to tidy up, but I think it's gonna come at the same time as I do the spit. So once we get the spit done, we'll have a good tidy up. Daughter's booking her CBT soon, so we can get the motorbike out of the, out of the garage. Um, and yeah, so yeah, good to be back. Big old pigsty, must clean up. Um, cheers for following, and as I said, enter the competition if you want to. It's free to enter. Um, check out the video or 16bmini.co.uk forward slash giveaway. Um, and then yeah. Uh, we've just gone past the two and a half thousand subscriber mark now, so well chuffed with that. Um, oh, I've got one more shout out, hang on a second. Yep, yeah, last shout out to Colin um, for donating me a, an 850 gearbox, so we can actually try and put the car back to a sort of half originality, um, because of the, um, it's the um, pudding shift one type gearling, as you like to call it. So yeah, obviously, I think from what I know, the 850 gearbox is slightly weaker than the 998, but actually for pure, you know, for keeping it, period, uh, yeah, we're going to use that, so I'm going to get that taken up to my dad soon, hopefully going up for the um, NEC Classic Car Show, um, I think it's around 10th of November, so if anybody's up there, give us a shout, we can maybe have a meet up or something, don't have my own stand there, not famous enough yet, um, so yeah, so that will allow me to keep the um, customised, not customised, but period mod, gear linkage at the time so yeah thanks for that Colin unbelievable sorry I missed you um, sort of remembered then completely forgot uh, so yeah um, owe you a beer and we'll definitely meet up soon cheers mate